Uh, that locomotive plant in London took five million in tax breaks from Stephen Harper and left for Indiana. What's our strategic economic response? Build more pipelines to the tar sands. That's about it. Being resource rich can really make you stupid. We might score some short-term construction jobs that way, but we don't even try to process the stuff here. We also botch the sell-off. Compare us to Ecuador. They sell oil. Uh, companies there used to take 87% of oil revenues and leave Ecuador just 30, 13%, but the government switched that. Now the companies get 13%, Ecuador keeps the rest and spends it on education and infrastructure for when the oil runs out. Our governments keep lowering their return on resources and cutting things like education to balance their budgets. Maybe that's what you get when you have an economist as prime minister. What happens to people who don't work in resources? Uh, I ordered a sub sandwich last week. A man in his 50s surgically donned gloves, deftly assembled the components of a six inch multi grain, passed it through the toasting process, retrieved and packaged it on the other side, and rang it up. With a little retraining, he'd be great on an assembly line or in a high tech plant. Or maybe that's where he already picked up those skills in some place like London. For the star.com, I'm Rick Salute.